Good morning, hello everybody. All right, so here's the deal. Jason works in Tucker, and so I am living in a hotel this week so he can go to work and not have a two hour commute to and from the house, or a four hour commute if he's driving from Knoxville. All right, so I'm living in a hotel this week, and I love it. So on the way back from my second trip to the coffee pot this morning down the lobby, I saw a lady sitting in the uh, like elevator waiting room and noticed that she was reading a book. Well, you know what's really cool about actual books instead of a tablet is you can read the title of the book. And she was reading a book, <sighs> something, 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 how to pass the real estate exam. Okay? So... I said, hey, I see you're studying to take the real estate exam. Why is that? <laughs> she was like, I want to be a realtor. And I was like, why? And she was like, because I want to buy houses. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're one of those. Why would you think that having a real estate license would help you become a real estate investor? Because in real estate class, and y'all trust me on this, I've been through a lot of them. In real estate class, they teach you how to be a realtor. They do not teach you how to be a real estate investor. They teach you how to stay out of jail. They teach you how to fill out the contracts. They, fill, they teach you how many square feet are in an acre. It's 45,000 and some change. They don't teach you a formula to go out and buy houses. They don't show you what kind of email list you need to be on to get deals sent to you. They don't show you, you know, how to talk to wholesalers. They don't show you how to talk to for sale by owners. They, real estate school, regular real estate school where you go out, you take an exam, you pay a bunch of money and you get a real estate license to hang on the wall so you can split your commissions with your broker. They teach you how to be a realtor. Nothing about and y'all correct me if I'm wrong on this, but when I was in real estate school and all my continuing education, nobody has ever taught me how to be a real estate investor. So if you want to be a real estate professional, if you want to be a realtor, if you want to be a real estate agent, and you want to represent other people when they're buying and selling properties, then go get your license. Pay your fees, pay your dues, get your E and O insurance, sign up with a broker, and do your thing. But if you want to be a real estate investor, then you need to go to real estate investing school. Do you know how much it costs to get a real estate license and to maintain a real estate license? Because for the same price that you could get a real estate license, you could learn how to flip houses. You could learn how to rent property. You could learn the formulas that real estate investors use so that they have monthly cash flow coming in from real estate investments. So if you want to be a real estate investor, skip regular real estate agent school, skip all of that stuff and become a real estate investor. If that's what you want to be, if your ultimate goal is to be a landlord or your ultimate goal is to flip houses or your ultimate goal is to be a private money lender, whatever your ultimate goal is, start going after that. And if you want to be a real estate investor, if you want to flip houses, if you want to get an HGTV show, if you want to learn, you know, the ins and outs of real estate investing, then become a real estate investor. Do not become a real estate agent. Okay. Real estate agents represent real estate investors. Real estate agents make pennies on the dollar compared to every real estate invest, every successful real estate investor I know. Okay, you do not need a real estate license to be a real estate investor. Anybody over the age of 18 in America can sign a real estate contract to buy or sell land. You do not need a license. Having a license is not going to give you the inside track on good properties. Okay, it's going to give you a lot more fees. So if you want to be a real estate investor, skip the real estate license. Let a, let a real estate agent represent you if you want to, because I promise they're going to make $1,000 and you're going to make 20000 
They're going to pay licensing fees. They're going to pay for insurance. They're going to go to continuing education. They're going to get all these things that you don't need or have time for. If you're going to be a real estate investor, then go be a real estate investor. Okay, so I'm in the lobby. The point of this whole rant is because I'm in the hotel lobby and I'm walking back to the room and there's a lady studying a book for the real estate exam. And I was like, why do you want to be a real estate agent? I mean, my second question to this woman is, hey, I see you're going to take the real estate exam. Why? And she was like, well, I want to be a real estate investor then don't take the exam. Go find somebody who can teach you how to be a real estate investor, all right? I teach women how to be a real estate investor. I teach women how to get a cash flowing real estate portfolio in 12 weeks or less, all right? So if you want to make money in real estate, if you wanna make pennies on the dollar, sure, go get a license. I am a control freak. I like licenses. I want to have a broker's license. I want to be a realtor. I want to be an investor. An investor first. I'm a realtor second. The realtors, I mean, I have a personal interest in disclosure. Yes, I'm a realtor, blah, 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 blah. But if you just want to make money, if you just want to flip houses, if you just want to get some cash flow coming in, then be a real estate investor. Skip the license. You don't need it. You don't need a license to be a real estate investor. Anybody over the age of 18 in America can buy and sell properties without being represented. You need to be represented if you're a one-time cash buyer or you're a one-time mortgage buyer. Then you need, you probably need a real estate agent to hold your hand, walk you through the process, tell you which mortgage broker to use, tell you which inspector to use, tell you that this is going to happen and that's going to happen. But I've got some real estate friends on here and y'all tell me if I'm wrong that real estate agent, agenting, being a real estate agent is a lot of work and people that think they can do it part-time and nights and weekends, they're not going to be successful because it takes a lot of work. You have to be in the flow of things to be an effective real estate agent. But if you want to be a real estate investor, you can do a deal or two a year if you're good and make enough money that you don't need to do anything else. Or you can be a real estate investor and make enough money that it, pays for your mortgage. You could be a real estate investor and know that your car is paid for this month. You could flip a house and make $30,000 and go on a trip this year. Unless you've been a real estate agent for a really, really long time, you're probably making $1,000, maybe $5,000 per closing. And then you got to split that with your broker and then you got to pay your licensing and your fees and you got to pay for your signs and your business cards and your website and all that other stuff. If you want to be a real estate investor, then go be a real estate investor. You do not need a real estate license to be a real estate investor. So this lady is in the lobby and I said, when she told me she wanted to be a real estate investor, I said, well, that's great because I teach women how to become real estate investors without a license. And she was like, when can we talk? And I was like, well, I got a couple of meetings. In fact, I got one right now that I need to, need to go for. But I'll be back at 11. And I'm going to tell her how you can be a real estate investor without having, be, without having a license. If you want to represent other people buying and selling properties, then yes, you need a real estate license. But if you want to be your own buyer or seller, if you're a control freak like me and you don't really want everybody all up in your business all the time and telling you when you need to close and all this pressure and all these restrictions and all this stuff, then be a real estate investor. If your ultimate goal is to be a real estate investor, then go be a real estate investor. If your ultimate goal is to show houses on Sundays and tell people that this is the kitchen and now we're in the bathroom, then go be a real estate agent. Okay, because real estate investors are making too much money for that little nonsense. Tell me how I know. All right. Uh, complete rampage this morning. Sorry. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm not really sorry. But 
Also, I have a problem with wholesalers. <laughs> wholesalers, whew, wholesaling does not make you any money. So if you don't want to go through the process to get a license and you just want to be a wholesaler so that you can tiptoe into the process, you're not going to make any money because there's professional wholesalers out there and they are making 30 grand a flip. And the only difference to me between a wholesaler and an agent is one's license and one's not. Because ultimately wholesalers, if, they're, if they don't have a closing, then they don't make a check. If agents don't have a new listing and they don't have a closing, then they don't make a check. So if you want to live like that, then you can be a wholesaler and you can be an agent. But if you want some recurring cash flow coming in so that you don't have to worry about your nine to five or you don't have to worry about, you know, another expense coming up this month and you just want to kind of kick it, be a real estate investor. Get that cash flow coming in. Be a landlord. Be a, <laughs> be a collector of money if that's what you want to do. Because having that money come in on a monthly recurring basis that nah, I did basically a lot of work for a long time ago is amazing and it is so freeing. Okay? So if you want to be a real estate investor, go be a real estate investor. If you want that money coming in every month, by the fifth of the month and then you get to kick it go do another deal for the next three weeks then be a real estate investor but if you want to hustle and you want to work really really hard and you want to get paid once a month or once a week from somebody else's you know million dollar hustle then be an agent or be a wholesaler but in my opinion Agents and wholesalers don't make any money. They are one hit wonders, especially if you're an agent that's dealing with first time home buyers. Okay, if you're working with a first time home buyer, how many people are first time home buyers? There's a lot of us, right? But we aren't continually buying and selling and being first time home buyers. Investors are continuously buying and selling. So if you want to be a real estate agent, then partner yourself up with an investor so you can represent them, so you can do all of their gopher work, so that you can do the investing side, okay? Or so that you know you have one or five clients and they're going to buy or sell something twice a month. So if you want to be an agent, be an investor's agent. But a good real estate investor will only use a real estate agent who is also an investor. Jason says this all the time. If you're going to hire a real estate agent, ask them what their portfolio looks like. Because the really good real estate agents have either built themselves up to be the broker so they have lots of minions working under them so that they get that money coming in every month, or they have worked themselves up to being a landlord so that they have the steady income coming in, so that they're a collector of money, they're a collector of properties, they're a collector of rent, and they have that money coming in, okay? The real estate agents that have really made it have figured out that the best way to get ahead in real estate is to be the owner, is to be the investor. So a lot of real estate agents get into it because they want to be investors and then they figure out, oh crap, I don't really need this license. Now I got all this other stuff that I got to do when I could have just become an investor. All right. So if you want to be an investor, find an investor who will teach you how to be an investor. If you're a lady, I will teach you how to be an investor. If you're a fella, then uh, Ramon Tooks and Brandon Wigley and Jay Morrison and Jay Connor and Ron Legrand and John Iannotti. They will all teach the men how to be an investor. Um, and there's some other ladies, Sonia Booker, Carol Sankar, um, uh, Cindy Dumeyer, Stephanie Iannotti. There's a lot of ladies that can teach you how to be a real estate investor. Personally, I like my style better. <laughs> But you know, that's just me. So if you want to be a real estate investor, I will be glad to teach you how to be a real estate investor. But please stop telling me that you want to get a real estate license so that you can be a real estate investor. That's like saying, I want to be a, I want to be a, um, I mean, that's like saying, 
Well, I'm having a hard time with this. You know, if you want to be an orthodontist, you need to be a dentist first, right? But if you want to be a real estate investor, you do not need to be a real estate agent first. It's not a step-by-step -step program. If you want to be a real estate investor, then go be a real estate investor. You don't need a real estate license. And you will spend as much getting a real estate license as you will to get into my course this month. Um, and my uh, real estate agent friends are on here. Y'all tell me if it's more fun to be the real estate agent or to be the real estate investor in a transaction because 100 to 1, I love being the investor. Oh, crap. My connection's weak. All right. I'm off my high horse. I'm going to go talk to this lady that's in the lobby studying for her real estate exam because she wants to be a real estate investor. And I'm basically going to tell her everything I just told you. You don't need a real estate license. <laughs> Thank you, Justin Bailey. Here's one of the top real estate agents in Knoxville saying that an investor, 100%. Please help me spread the word that it is so much better every single time to be the investor instead of the agent. And why people, Justin, maybe you can help me. Why do people, Justin can probably teach you if you're a man in Knoxville and you want to you want to learn how to be an investor, he will probably be able to teach you how to be an investor. But I don't understand how that works and if I had a dime for every time somebody told me that they wanted their real estate license so they could be a real estate investor I could pay for this hotel room this week so if you want to be the investor go be the investor um, Justin and his mom are fabulous investors okay they pretty much wrote the book on it in Knoxville so learn from an investor if you want to be an investor that's my public service announcement for the day. You do not need a real estate license to be a real estate investor. Um, and I'm going to go talk to this lady in the lobby because I think everybody needs a real estate portfolio. I'll tell you two reasons why a woman needs a real estate portfolio over a man too. And this is why I work with women instead of men. I also like women more than men sometimes. I'm training my husband. I don't have time to train anybody else's. But okay, one reason is scientifically women live longer than men all right in america a woman is going to outlive her mate and that's just science i don't know who proved that but for a long long time it's been proven that women are going to outlive their husband and so if you're going to live longer you need your money to last longer and unless you're counting on social security or some sort of pension fund you need some other money coming in and becoming a real estate investor so that you have that retirement account coming in is awesome but you can't wait until you're retiring to start building that portfolio or then you're 40 years behind wouldn't it be awesome to retire early because you make more in your real estate investments than you do at your nine to five the second reason a woman needs a real estate portfolio is because all right this is just the honest truth but we spend more money than men Okay, I know that getting ready in the morning, all things being equal, I will spend more money getting ready every morning than Jason will because I use more products in the shower and my products are more expensive than his. I have to use the $18 shampoo bottle when he can use the $4 shampoo bottle. Okay, boom, I made more, I spent more money. I wear makeup, even if I don't wear a lot, I still wear some. He doesn't spend that money. I, my clothes, he wears very nice clothes. So do I. Guess who spends more money on clothes, okay? I spend more money than my husband. And here's another example of how I spend more money than Jason. Pulled up to Food City one day, sent him in after a pack of bacon. Guess what he comes back out with? He comes back out with a pack of bacon. So, uh-oh, my connection's weak again. So, if you send me in the store for a pack of bacon, guess what I come back out with? I come back out with a pack of bacon, I come out with cinnamon rolls, more shampoo because it was a buy one get one free. I come out with uh, something for breakfast, I come out with some drinks, probably a fruit tray, maybe a vegetable tray. So I spent also the time, he was in there in like 5 minutes, in and out. I was in for there for like 30 or 45 minutes because I found all sorts of people to talk to. Okay, And if time is money, then I just wasted more time than he did and I had a $100 
pack of bacon, whereas he had a $5 pack of bacon. All right. So if we're going to spend more money and we're going to live longer, we need a real estate portfolio. Every woman needs a real estate portfolio because more than likely you're going to live longer than your husband. And this is not scientific. This is just my own social experiment. You're going to spend more money than your husband. Okay. If you want that, if you want to make money in your pajamas, just like Justin said, if you want to make money in your pajamas, be a real estate investor. I wake up on the first of the month and I've got money in my account. I wake up on the fifth of the month and I've got more money in my account. I just woke up. I'm still in my pajamas. Just like Justin said, I'm in my pajamas. I made money. And then for the rest of the month, I can go find something else to buy so that I make more money next month. Right? That's how real estate investing works. All right. I'm really done now. If you have any questions, if you want to get into my program, go to allaboutrei.com and fill out the application so that you can get into my system. If you're a lady, if you're a fella, contact Justin. He can help you. Contact Ramon Tooks. Contact uh, Jay Connor. He did a video earlier today on Facebook. Contact Ron Legrand. Contact uh, John Iannotti. All of them. But if you're a lady... <laughs> And I hope Carol and Sonia and uh, Cindy and all the other ladies making money in real estate, I hope they see this because they are fabulous to learn from. Um, I just, again, I like my program too. <laughs> so if you are a lady and you want to learn how to make money in real estate, all about REI.com. I saw Sherry was on here. She's one of my students right now. And I'll find, Justin's mentioned some ways that you can find properties without using an agent and that's what I specialize in is finding six different ways to find off-market properties and being an agent is fun and great and stressful being an investor is fun and great and stressful but the money comes back 10 or 20 times versus what it would come back as a regular agent so get a license if you want it but if you want to be an investor go be an investor all right bye y'all have a great day happy investing <laughs>